How's it going guys? Today I'm going to explain my process for managing my team using a Trello board. So I'm just going to go build it from scratch. So I'm going to put the backlog section right here. These are for things that are, uh, you'll see in a second. So today, WIP means work in progress. I'm going to set that to three. And then I'm going to put in doing. WIP will be one for that. So that, let me set that up. Uh, so what this means right here is that for today, I'll have three things that I'm working on. And the time amount for those things is between 30 minutes to two and a half hours. The reasoning behind that is if your hourly uh, workday is eight hours, you don't want, you know, three tasks that will be more than that. So they can be less than that. And if they are less than that, and you're able to get through those tickets, then you can just add more from the backlog into today. Then we have waiting on. So these are items that you are waiting for someone else to get back to you on, and you could follow up this, uh, follow up with those on a weekly basis. The doing section, you should have one card that you're working on at a time to completion. The last column is going to be done. Okay. Now I also add another column called team. And what I like to do in team is add team members. So whoever comes in, who's new can see who the team members are, what they do, a little description about them. And that's pretty much it. Now what I also do in team, is I add a few cards that I think are helpful. For example, smart goals. With smart goals, what I add here is an attachment from my computer, which is Amazon smart goals. Here we go. Managing an Amazon team. So I will close that out. I'll add a description on what smart goals mean and how to do them because I want my team thinking about setting smart goals. The next card that I add is the matrix priority. So here we go. Priority matrix. This is the Eisenhower priority matrix. So I'm going to add this card here. I'm going to add an image from my computer, this attachment, and I will make this uh, available for the public so you can easily get it. And then I add a description in here, which I'll get in there later. But essentially what this is, is prioritizing uh, the labels in Trello. So what I'll do here, so basically if you're not familiar with the Eisenhower matrix, you want to focus first on those things that are important and urgent, and then focus last on those things that are not important and not urgent. The place where people mix up priorities is between two and three. So the second most thing you want to focus on after urgent and important is important and not urgent. You want to do that before you do the things that are urgent and not important. Things like responding to emails and things that are just pretty much interruptions and distractions from goals that, you know, they're not urgent yet, but they're going to help you push things forward. So what I do with my team is I explain how I organize the labels in Trello and I'll go to show menu. Uh, let's actually go to, so it's just giving me colors and I want to change priorities. So I'm going to go, here we go, more labels. So this is going to be high priority, which is important and do soon. So I want my team navigating through the workflow. Let me just set this up real quick and I'll come back. Okay, so I just created a label. So green is high priority, important and urgent, number one. And then medium priority is yellow, which is important and not urgent, number two. And then lowest priority is going to be red. So that's number four, not important and not urgent. And then low priority is number three. Uh, let me create some uh, kind of fake cards here and we'll I'll show you how that helps the team manage workflow. All right, so I just created some fake cards here, card examples, and I assigned some labels to them. Just a quick tip, if you want to sign a label, just scroll over to the card and press L and you can sign a label that quickly. If you want to sign a card to you, you just go over and press space, right? If you want to sign it to someone else, you'll have to press M, but there's currently no other members in here, so it's just going to be me. Now, a great thing about Trello is what you can do is filtering. Now, what I'll do here is I'll come in, I'll press F, and I'll look for high priority items. And when I'm looking at this high priority items, I'm seeing, whoa, no one's assigned to this one. What is this one? Let me assign it to someone. I can also sort by members so I can see what each team member is working on and whether the tasks they're working on are high priority or low priority. So I remove this filter right here. I can see what my medium priorities are. I can see what my lowest priorities are. And those lowest priorities, you should be thinking about how to get rid of them and why are they in the Trello board in the first place. So I also ask my team for any blank cards, for example, no members, 
look at those cards and then think about whether you can tackle those assignments that have not been assigned yet. If you think someone should be assigned to them, then you better tag them in that card. So this is the process of utilizing the priority matrix matrix within Trello and how I'm formatting it right now. And by the way, if you have any suggestions on how to improve this, I am all ears. Type the uh, you know type them in the comments below. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and the link to this Trello board to use it will be in the comments section below or actually the description of this video. All right, guys, until next time.